Okay, this is chapter 61 of The Night Singer. 61. As Hannah took Marcus Johansson and his lawyer down to reception, Eric went to Ove's office to give him an update. It had been obvious Hannah didn't want to join him, which only made Eric even more intrigued as to what their meeting had been about. Her father, perhaps, but he didn't want to ask about him again. Excuse me. Ove looked like he needed a two-week retreat on the French Riviera. He closed the brown paper folder he was reading as Eric came in, but Eric had time to spot the National Board of Forensic Medicine logo on the document inside. I hope you're bringing me good news, said Ove. Afraid not. Eric told Ove what had come to light during the interrogation and explained the confusion both he and Hannah had come to, that the perpetrator was likely someone else. Damn it, said Ove. Feels like we're back to Fanny Broberg. I agree. Ove took off his glasses and massaged the bridge of his nose before putting them on again. Are you really sure it wasn't him? Sure enough, he doesn't have a motive. But he could be lying. True, but there's nothing to suggest he is. What was his alibi again? Eric couldn't understand why Ove was still clinging to Marcus Johansson. Just this morning, he had wanted to prioritize Fanny Broberg. He said he was at home, said Eric, so it's a little tricky to confirm. Try. Eric nodded. Ove had sown a seed of doubt in him in him, had they been too quick to dismiss Marcus Johansson. Though everything he said about the meeting and the shopping center checked out, he could be lying about other things. Joel being trans, could that be a motive? Asked Ove. I don't think so, Eric replied. Virtually no one else knew. Or not that we're aware of, anyway. Ove reminded him. Eric felt sympathy for the situation Marcus was in, for the fact that his wife had found what was likely to happen with him so difficult that she moved out, that his son no longer wanted to live in the same town. But at the same time, he could also understand them. Processing the realization that your partner has kept such a big part of themselves from you couldn't be easy, nor could learning something about something like that about a parent. And no matter how Eric tried, he struggled to think of Marcus as Tina. Perhaps it was simple appearance getting in the way. After leaving Ove's office, Eric headed straight down to the cafeteria. He needed coffee. More than anything, he wanted Sapriya. Like Ove, he had thought they were nearing some kind of closure in the case and had been looking forward to spending more time with his family. He sent her a message hoping she wasn't busy with the patient. Sorry for being such an idiot earlier. She replied immediately. Yeah, you were, but you're my idiot. Her message was followed by an emoji of a running man in shorts. It's just really hard going with the investigation right now. This time her reply took a moment to arrive. You'll manage it. You always do. A few seconds later, she also added, I love you. I love you, Eric wrote back, taking a sip of the coffee he had just poured. He thought that he and Sapriya were honest with one another, that they could talk about anything, but what did he really know? He headed upstairs and found Hannah sitting in one of the armchairs. How did he take it? she asked. So, so. He doesn't want us to drop Marcus Johansson. I guess I can understand that, given we don't have anyone else yet. There's Fanny, said Eric, and maybe Lucas and Tilde too. It feels like we're back with them. Hannah shook her head. I really don't think so. I'm going to call Nadine again, since she was the person Joel seems to have been closest to. I want to confront her about Joel being trans. I'll take another look at the pictures I took at the rest area afterward. I can't shake the feeling that there's something I'm not seeing. But first I need to talk to Karina about the latest developments. Her voice had lowered to a whisper and Hannah glanced around the room. What's wrong? asked Eric. What do you mean? What's the deal with you and Karina? Ever since Hannah mentioned that Karina didn't seem to like her, Eric had realized she was probably right. Hannah's cheeks flushed. She knows Esther's daughter somehow. How do you know? I saw a photo of them together at Maria's place. Aha, said Eric. What do you mean, aha? Eric studied Hannah, unsure how to proceed. He suspected this was the source of her outburst yesterday, but it was really such a big... But was it really such a big deal if Karina knew Maria? Surely they should still be able to work together. Have you asked Karina about it? No, said Hannah. So talk to Ove instead. Hannah got up and Eric sighed. Was what he had said really enough to annoy her again? But when she reached the doorway, Hannah turned around. We should talk to Joel's stepfather, Petrie, for any particular reason. We haven't really done it yet.